Welcome to the Thriving Solopreneur Show, where you learn the stories and systems that have turned hardworking, self-employed business owners like yourself into highly successful, leisurely entrepreneurs. This show is dedicated to those who went into business for themselves because they had an idea or suggestion that ignited their passions to do more, to do it better, and to solve a problem in our community. Whether your business started in a basement, a garage, or at a kitchen table, this episode will bring to you a system, a tip, or an entrepreneur that has been where you are and can guide you to living the fulfilling life you desire for yourself. Here's your host and serial solopreneur, Janine Bolin. Hi, welcome to The Thriving Solopreneur. This is Janine Bolin, and I have with me today a business coach that is not your normal business coach. I know some people roll their eyes and they're like, oh my God, another business coach. No, no, no. You need to listen to this guy. This guy is amazing. His name is Niels Janssen, and he hails from the Netherlands from us. And I wanted to let you know this guy has it going on. And do not let his young face fool you. He is well-read, he is articulate, and he knows what he's talking about. He has made enough mistakes that he can keep you from spending excess money that you don't need to. So let me tell you a little bit about what he has done. He helps new entrepreneurs build their business that they love and can't stop talking about. Like you have a passion, you have an idea. He's your go-to self-made entrepreneur who started his first business when he was 18 and at the age of 28, who moved to Bali and lived alongside those digital nomads and monkeys for two years as a former Microsoft employee and a 10-year marketing track record, he has helped hundreds of businesses to scale up and attract clients. Now, after a tough little situation of burnout and he hit rock bottom, he turned his corporate life frustration into a lifelong mission to help these same new and aspiring entrepreneurs to help them with a f busy full-time job as well as have a meaningful location independent business for themselves. So if you're thinking about a side hack or something like that, Niels is definitely the gentleman that you want to go to. So Niels, thank you so much for being with us on the show today. I appreciate you. Thank you, Janine. Thanks for having me. So we were talking a little bit because this is Janine's thing. You know, I always talk a little bit to my guests beforehand just to pick their brain. And that's when I realized there was a lot there that Niels has between his ears. So let's talk a little bit about the book that really helped you turn your business from you being in burnout and really turned you around to being a thriving entrepreneur. And that was Atomic Habits, wasn't it? Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. For me, this book has made a, such a such a big, big difference. And uh, before, I actually I never was actually a, a reader. Like I actually didn't really enjoy reading books or self help books or anything like that. I I know there are so many people who are big fans of self help books. And actually, like until the age of thirty, I just I just couldn't really focus on them. And um, but at some point, I tried to give it another shot. And especially when I hit rock bottom, I had to do something, right? I had to change. I had to, I had to do something. So I tried everything. Like uh, I hired a, hired a coach myself. I did online trainings, podcasts, um, yeah, audio books, everything. And this book really made such a big difference um, because I actually never realized as a new entrepreneur myself that the foundation of entrepreneurship is so heavily focused on mindset. I always thought like entrepreneurship, just a bit more like hustling and just get it done and, and building it. And, uh, but I realized that actually 90% is all mindset work. It's all about our beliefs, our habits, our thoughts, our emotions. And I became fascinated. So we were talking about three primary points that I really want to go over because when you were talking about them, your eyes lit up as you were describing them. And so that's where I always know then, ah, these are the gold nuggets that we need to share with the audience. And that is you were talking about boredom, goal setting, and habits and how those three areas for any entrepreneur will either make or break them. So do you care uh, about talking about those for a bit for me? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Especially, especially for a situation where you're in a really busy full-time job and you don't have a 
lot of time, maybe also not a lot of energy, uh, maybe you feel a bit drained after a busy day. And you still want to make this difference. You want to build a business you love, but things are still a bit off. You're not entirely certain what you want to do. And like you're still, you're, you're really looking for, okay, how can I make this work? And me personally, I was try to set goals and just hustle and get create this long to-do list and try to try to aim aim for the sky and make it make it happen but actually what i realized is uh, indeed goal setting is just one way to do it like it's uh, i set this goal and then in the end i try to make it happen but the the funny thing is what i learned with goal setting you can compare it with a football match for example like both winners and losers they set the same goals right so they actually they both want to win um, but just staring at the scoreboard the rest of the game isn't going to make any difference the <laughs> right so the difference is in habits the difference is in how you train your people how you stay focused how you stay healthy how you energize yourself and also in the end because some of these things can be really repeating and um, even a bit boring it's about falling in love with boredom and it's about staying in there for 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 the long game and trying to find ways of how you're going to enjoy boredom and and how you can create a system for yourself that will bring you to your goals naturally so that's that's actually what i what i learned like we can set goals so we can we can say well i, I want to i want to earn 50,000 this year, something like that. And then, and then we create this whole long to-do list of all the things that we think we need to do in order to get there. Um, but that's just one approach. And that uh, because this approach means delayed happiness, this means that uh, we are going to delay our happiness until the point that we hit that goal. And, but I, actually I never realized that there's also another way and um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's actually really frustrating that never, no one actually taught me that there was another way. I, um, and, and, and the other way is so much more fun uh, because if we can just get 1% better every day by creating really healthy habits, for example, a healthy habit can be um, just sending one WhatsApp message to someone who is a potential client or just doing one post on social media instead of hustling my whole Saturday when I'm off and the, and the sun is out and I can just go out and, and, and take a nice walk. It's so much easier to just spend five minutes every day on the same thing and then it becomes part of my system. Then it's, it doesn't take me any effort to do this one thing. So yeah, so bring it back to, to, to habits. It's, it's really about these really simple things and really falling in love with them. And that's one of the things that I think is very valuable about the systems that you teach and the, the PDF files that you're willing to share with people is that you have to have systems. And I was originally an analytical biochemist. And so I was in automation and robotics. So I naturally think in terms of systems, how can I automate? How can I automate? I'm always thinking about all the stuff I don't like to do. And so I automate it, make it a system so that I don't hit what is the next thing that is very awful for entrepreneurs. And that's burnout. And burnout is caused by decision fatigue. And we know, all know that decision fatigue is the number one cause of burnout for us. So as you were talking to me about atomic habits and how you've changed your own life, what are some changes that you made when you went from goal setting to creating habits? And if you wish, you know, some people call them habits. I call them systems because, you know, I'm a geek. But what were some of the changes that you made in your own life that you were like, oh, my gosh, this is so much easier and I still have money coming through the door? Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, well, there, there, there are a few things and most of these things are actually pretty simple, maybe even too too simple actually and but that's the that's the whole that's the whole beauty and i can totally relate to your situation i'm also a analytical person i've been in marketing yes but also always in a bit more process roles or analytical and i was created processes and systems 
except for myself, except my own system, me as a person in, in, in this environment. Um, I was, I, I love thinking in, in, in creating all these beautiful flows and how to um, make sure that I don't um, have too much manual work and that kind of stuff. But I actually never thought of me as a system, as, as part of a system. So, um, and when I looked at it, it made so much sense. Uh, so a few things, a few things are, for example, so what do I need on a daily basis to, um, to be productive, to hit my goals without thinking about my goals? So one thing is, for example, gratitude. And it's, I, I know there are a lot of people who talk about this mega morning routine with gratitude and journaling and walking and jumping and everything. Of course, there's so much that you can do. But for me, gratitude was a big thing. And because I want to be a loving person and that's, uh, and in order to be that person, because I wrote it down, that's what I want to be. It's like, okay, so how can I do that? I don't, I don't have to build this whole business in order to be a loving person. I don't have to. I can just every day before, before I start eating my dinner, I can just say one word of uh, gratitude. And then naturally in time, I will probably be a few percent more um, loving. And the same goes with writing, for example. If I wanna, if I wanna write a blog, um, I, I'm not gonna spend my whole Saturday writing this blog. I can just sit there every day writing 10 minutes, for example. Um, but not just somewhere. I'm just gonna, every, every place has one goal. So I'm now sitting at a, at a very specific desk with a sp very specific setup that's only here for video recording um, and audio recording. So every place has a really specific person, um, uh, purpose. So for writing, I'm gonna sit on my ta kitchen table below on the other side. So not on the side where I normally work, but on the other side with a specific laptop uh, after, after I had my breakfast. And this is also part of, a, um, yeah, of, of, of creating these routines for yourself. And the funny thing is your body really likes it. You're really, you're going to program yourself and things will flow naturally. So gratitude, writing was for me a really big thing. And maybe a third one is recording videos. I never, actually I've never done that before, um, but now it's mass production. But that's mostly because of um, this very specific habit that I created um, where I dedicate a location in my house uh, specifically to that purpose and only for maybe five or 10 minutes a day. Uh, so just by getting really specific on when you're going to do what at which place, it's going to make all the difference, especially if you're limited in, in, in time and energy. And that's where we definitely come back to that decision fatigue. So a lot of the people I work with in my demographic, you know, they're in their 40s and 50s and they do have that full time job and they're trying to build up uh, another business because they know they're hitting retirement age and yet they're not done. That, that's what so many of them say. They're like, I know the old model of retirement is no longer uh, applicable to me, but I'm not done. And the problem is I've never worked for myself before. And so I really wanted to have Niels talk about systems because each person will have a set of systems that's different. So just to let you know about mine, which of course, a lot of people call me crazy, but you know what? This works for me. And this is why I, I run my own business because it works for me. And that is, I get up at 4 a.m. I'm writing by 4.30. You guys know I write a lot of books. By, by 6.30, I'm having breakfast with my eldest son. We're chatting. I'm building the dinners and the food that we need for the rest of the family. I have four children. And so it's like, there's a lot of stuff I have to do. And then I'm headed downstairs into the basement to work out and after I get done with that, I'm singing happy birthday to all my friends on f Facebook that have a birthday that day. So my entire morning is just totally crowded in with all the things I absolutely love to do and keep my body healthy and keep my family in harmony. And so when you mentioned, uh, Niels, when you first mentioned 
mindset. I was like, that's the key. It's like, you have worked really hard to build your own business, to get a business. You have a passion for this business. Don't give up the lifestyle that that business can feed. Would you like to talk a little bit more about that for us? Yeah, 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 definitely. So, um, yeah, especially around this, around this mindset, I, I, I'm, I, I'm certain this is around like 80, 90% of all, of all the work and also all the, the morning routines, as you explained it, these things sound like it's, it's nice to have, right? But this, this is actually the key ingredient. Um, also from, from my, ad, I also have my morning routine where I wake up and I do this, I do that. I, I write, I jump. Um, and, and, and it's very, it's, it, it's a system on itself and, but it all has to do with feeding this mindset and believing it and staying true to yourself. Um, and also it's really mindset is a tricky thing. It's really fragile. So especially if you're not surrounded with the right the right people, the um, uh, not like-minded people who are supporting you, because this is probably one of the most tricky, tricky parts here. This is really slippery. Um, this is also what I hear from everyone, without an exception. Everyone I talk to is saying, "I just want to surround myself with like-minded people and exactly understand what I want to do, and who are going to support me on my mission." And uh, because it's all like just building the business on itself is pretty simple. It's not easy, but it's pretty simple. Um, the tricky part is the mindset and, and keeping yourself focused and feeding, feeding that motivation um, by surrounding yourself with right people, building the right habits, building your morning routines. I think this is, this is mostly 90% yeah, of, of all the work. And especially if you're in a, this is job and you're just considering this or you're like you've read the the four hour work week you've done you've you've built your website or you did a few things and you're trying to make it work but still it's not working it's most of the work is probably on the mindset part and the community part and the supportive system part um, because that is definitely going to help you to to take another step and also to not give up too early or to get into this area of, of boredom, maybe at some point, because you're, you don't have enough um, business nutrients coming in. And that's, and that's where we're headed. If you notice, Niels and I haven't talked about anything that has to do with prospecting or client generation, client retention, prospecting. We haven't talked about anything like that because it really all starts with your personal systems. What are you doing every day, not only to feed yourself spiritually, so gratitude or journaling, whatever that is for you. And then you have to look at your physical health because I, trust me, if you sit behind uh, the computer for 30 minutes uh, a day, that's not that big a deal. But that's not what we're experiencing <laughs> in this in 2021. We're experiencing a whole different realm of sitting in front of video cameras. And so those are the things that we want to really work with you. So Niels, talk to us a little bit about how you can help somebody who like they're transitioning, they're going from full-time employment, they have this passion, this idea. Talk to us a little bit about what you do as a coach to help your people. All right, yeah, definitely. So um, so what I, what I do is I always try to meet people where they're at. So, um, so when someone comes to me, it's like, okay, I wanna build this business, I wanna, or I wanna, transition or i want to like i'm in a corporate job and i want to do things differently it's it always starts with why and and this is where where the deep dive starts uh, so always try to look for what is the real reason why you want to do this and so before even talking about how to do it and all that kind of stuff i just wanted to figure out what is your what is your 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 angle what is the thing like what is Sometimes it's even a wound, like the wound is where the light comes in, is what is it that you actually really want and try to get clarity around that. So I even created a, a, a small program around it 
where I can help people to get clarify, clar clarity on, on your business idea or on the, the, the next steps that you wish to take. But this is not about building a business. This is just about finding your own why, finding your own, uh, some, some would say ikigai or can be anything. Uh, but for me, I would just say, just try to figure out what you want. Um, I believe there's a, there's a really interesting quote from Simon Sinek, like if I'm already talking about in this, in this areas, like before we can stand out, we have to figure out what we actually stand for. Um, so this is, this is always my starting point. If you don't have clarity on what it is that you actually want, then we just have to start there. And, but for some, they already know. They, maybe it's a bit fuzzy, maybe it's not entirely clear, that's totally fine. Um, but if you already started somewhere, you already have some sort of a website life and you're, but it's like, you wanna, you wanna go big. You wanna, you wanna make it happen. You're still, of course, you, are, you have limited time, uh, limited energy, maybe even. Um, I have this program that's gonna help you to take all the steps, which is a step-by-step -step coaching program. It's called an accelerator. Um, that is going to help you to, to build your business in, in, in let's say, three months uh, and even get your first clients. And this is, this is the fastest way, but it's definitely not the, like, there, there are lots of people out there who say, well, uh, quick success and, and overnight success and that kind of stuff. And that's really annoying and really frustrating because, like, no one believes that, right? No, no one believes, who does believe that? um like for, like having having a first client is definitely possible but overnight success is just it's not going to happen like um but what is possible and that's that's the beauty of it what is possible is you can build the foundation for your business and create a mission for yourself create try to get some clarity on your next steps who do you want to help and um of course, you can build some sort of a website. You can you can start somewhere. You can start communicating, and that's where I'm where where I come in. Where I just um, I don't that de I definitely don't have all the answers. But I definitely have all the questions. Uh, so I just <laughs> ask a lot of questions and guide and, and and help people to make the right decisions for themselves or just just see what they want to do. So just so you folks know, this guy is so talented that he has three online coaching programs that when I took one look at him, I was like, oh, I am so sending people to him because a lot of people come to me for business coaching, but they don't have the proper foundation so that what my systems are and what I can do can really uh, elevate them and separate them from the crowd. So what I wanted to share with you is he has a boot camp, which is a 10 day program. And that's for people who just want to get clarity on their idea. How many times have you said, I want want to run my own business, but you have no idea because you can do so many different things. And so Niels is going to help you nail down where to, what to go after first. It's not to say that you don't do all of those things because I'm proof of that. Every time I have a new thing I do, I build a business around it. But you start off with one and then you build a business after that one's up running and bringing money to you. You use the money from that first idea to build the second idea. And so his 10-day boot camp is perfect for giving you clarity on that. Then he has his accelerator, which is a 90-day program for new entrepreneurs to launch their businesses and get the first clients, which is what Niels was just talking about. That is brilliant. If you have client number zero, talk to Niels. Get on his online program. Start doing what he recommends because this man knows what he's talking about. And then the last one, which is one of my favorites, is the six-month mastermind program. And that's where you get that community of like-minded people to come together so you're getting uh, lifted up by other people who are right there in the trenches building their business alongside you. So, Niels, if somebody's really interested in what you have to offer, uh, how can they get a hold of you? Is LinkedIn the best place? What do you recommend? Um, yeah, well, I'm pretty easy to find. So, yeah, I can. Uh, I'm I'm on I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, definitely, that's a that's a really good place. I'm on LinkedIn every day. Um, so uh, you can definitely reach me out through s by sending a DM on LinkedIn. Also, if you prefer uh, Instagram, Facebook, that's definitely an option as well. I think my website is the easiest place because then you can also like get a little bit of the background story 
and a bit more a bit more information um, on all these things there are some freebies as well so you can already get started um, which is nielsjansen.com or you can just reach reach me um, on LinkedIn also Niels uh, Janssen you can just type it in you will you will see it somewhere and also below these in the show notes, uh, you'll also have links to where you can connect with Niels. Niels, thank you so much for joining us today. I know it's kind of late and it took us a couple of months to finally connect <laughs> across the pond, but it's been a delight to have you today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And indeed, yeah, we, we, made, it, we made it happen. So we, we, found a, we found a slot. So yeah, that's excellent. Thanks, thank you so much for, for having me here. And uh, thanks for... Thanks for taking the time to share share this with uh, with the world and help helping entrepreneurs and solopreneurs around the world. And this is Janine Bolin with the Thriving Solopreneur, and we want to remind you: keep your feet on the ground as you reach for those stars, create those systems, and create habits. Then, after all that is done, then start doing the goal setting. Thank you for listening to the Thriving Solopreneur Show. We hope you found this episode helpful and uplifting. Be sure to visit us at janinebolin.com forward slash podcast, where you'll find a library of videos, books, and podcast programs to guide you to the future you envision for yourself. We also ask that you visit our sponsor, the8gates.com, for the books and online courses that share with you the debt-free living lifestyle that allows business owners like yourself to flourish. Have a great day and see you next time.